Yo, what's good YouTube? In today's video, we are going over the top five metal loadouts here after the season one reloaded update. The game was super broken yesterday and we couldn't even access our loadouts, but today they fixed it. So here we go. Let's get you guys the loadouts. But as always, man, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, so notifications turned on, and let's hop into it. All right, our first build we're getting into here is going to be the Ram 7. So this is still a top tier meta assault rifle here after the update. So our first attachment on this gun is going to be the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor. Just kind of keeping us off the radar. Help with that recoil control, that bullet velocity, and of course, damage range. If you guys want to go for that like zero recoil build, you're gonna have to use like a compensator of some sort, which I don't necessarily recommend. I'd probably just stick for the VT7 Spirit Fire. I moved over to that myself because I found way too many people were looking at me on the radar and I didn't like that. Now we're going to go up in here to the barrel section. We're throwing the Cronin Headwind Long Barrel. So what this is going to do is give you that increase in bullet velocity and range, your aiming idle sway, and your firing aiming stability. If you guys go look at the detailed stats here, you get a massive increase to your overall effective damage range, which is super sick. And your bullet velocity is over a thousand meters. So you're going to be getting almost that hit scan like, you know, uh, hit detection when you're firing at somebody. So I really like that. And that's why I choose this over the XRK core mark, which would be the other barrel you guys could substitute out if you guys want to go down that route and get a little bit more uh, recoil control because that's what this one helps with. I just like to go for this one here, though. Now we're going to go on down and throw in the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. Definitely to stabilize this gun out. Give us that gun kit control, aiming idle sway, horizontal recoil, and of course, firing, aiming, stability. All really great things here to be able to have. Of course, got to go down and throw in the 60 round mag. Listen, I'm a 60 round mag kind of guy. That's what I like to go for. But ultimately, the 60 is going to be the best way to run this gun. Just you know, 100%, you guys, without a doubt, should be running the 60 round mag. Don't ever go for that 40 unless you're trying to do some weird movement build, which I've seen that on like TikTok. But otherwise, if you're trying to make this like actually a normal gun, you want to go for that 60. And lastly, we're going to make use of the iron sights. I'm going to throw in the HVS 3.4 pad, which is overall a great attachment to once again help out with that recoil control. If you guys don't want to run maybe this, you could go throw in like a Choreo Eagle Eye, a red dot sight of some sort, like a Night Art Model 2023. It's totally up to you guys, but I really like this and I like running these, uh, this Ram sound with the iron sights, but this is my full build. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Next up, we're taking a look at one of my favorite SMGs to run here in Warzone. That's going to be the Striker. So the Striker definitely is still like a slightly below the WSP Swarm. And unfortunately, they did not give the WSP Swarm a nerf. And that's okay. We're just going to be giving you guys a build for the Striker since everyone and their mom knows a good build for the Swarm. First thing in here, though, is that Striker Recon Long Barrel. Give us that increase in bullet velocity and range along with that aiming idle sway. I really enjoy just having this thing hit a little bit fast, a little bit harder without slowing myself down too much. Uh, now we're going to go down here and throw in the DR6 hand stop. And this is just going to totally help us with our overall movement capabilities. There's not a single recoil control based thing in here. So a mocking speed, ADS speed, sprint to fire, and of course, movement speed. Fantastic things to be able to have on an SMG. So we really like that. This gun's not really going to move around too much either. So it's pretty sick. Uh, we're going to go throw on down here the 0.45 auto high grain rounds. And so this is going to give you those no enemy skulls. But what we really care about is once again, that increase in bullet velocity and damage range. You guys are going to be able to see your effective damage range gets pushed out 15%. It basically almost at 20 meter mark. So you're going to be pretty effective even outside the range where the swarm would be effective. So you have a little bit more range and of course bullet velocity and your minimum effective damage range is increased, which is super awesome. So you're going to be downing people probably a little bit quicker than you would have thought otherwise. So that's why I really like having this on there. Got to go down on the 48 round mag, though this can be substituted here for the 60 round if you guys want to go for that. That is a totally up to you, but I just go for that 48 because I feel like that's totally adequate given the fire rate of the striker. It's not like super high like a swarm, which you, know, you probably want to run a 100 round drum on that just because the fire rate is so ridiculous and the reload speed is not really all that impacted by like fast hands. So that's why you just kind of run the 100 on that as is. But for this, we go for that 48. And then lastly, we go back here and throw on the RB Cordless Assault Stock or Crotalus. What are you going to call this thing? It's the Assault Stock. Basically, gun kick control, firing, aiming, stability, and of course, ADS speed and recoil control. Slightly slows you down on your sprint to fire, but we really don't care about that hip fire and tax hand spread. We basically don't really hip fire with this thing too, too much. And of course, sprint to fire has been taken care of once again by that uh, pretty much that under barrel we have earlier on. I actually have ran the Lockman uh, MK2 light stock with this exact one here. So you guys can go for that. Keep in mind, you will have a little bit more gun kick, but you will be faster. So you switch it out for that. Be totally okay. This is up to you, but this is going to be my full build right here. 
absolute banger definitely want to try this one out so now we got a bit of a new addition to the meta the holger 556 kind of pretty nice buff here within the update which is super sick i've been excited to be able to have some newer guns get into this thing so you guys should definitely try this one out First attachment here is that VT7 Spearfire Suppressor, keeping us off the radar, and once again, helping that recoil control, bull velocity, and damage range. Great stuff here to be able to have on an attachment. It just makes this gun more effective at those longer distances, as this is your primary assault rifle, your primary long-range weapon. Uh, now we're going to go up in here and throw on the Cryostas 6 match barrel giving us increase in bullet velocity and range recoil control and gun kick control for any guys that have used the holger you guys will know that it will kick up here just a little bit so the more we can kind of you know capitalize on stabilizing it out the better you're going to be off at hitting those longer range shots which is definitely something that is needed so that's why we got that on there now to go on down throw on the brewing heavy support grip this is a tried and true attachment that we run on so many of our different guns um assault rifles sometimes even the swarm you know smgs um you know lmgs we run this on a variety of things just because it's so good for all those different guns and those different applications now to go throw on the 40 round mag so this is basically kind of like the only downside right now to this gun kind of reminds me of like the cr56 amax or in this game the mtz 762 which is kind of like the amax equivalent um, because it doesn't have a huge magazine but it's a hard hitter so you guys should be all right and also does remind me kind of the cast of 762 one of those guns that was widely used but didn't have a super large magazine but we still make great use of it so that's just okay lastly we're gonna go throw on the choreo eagle eye 2.5x but keep in mind the sight is going to be a little bit more personal preference not as much uh, the rest of the attachments this is one of those things where you can kind of alter it up if you want to go for that choreo eagle eye perfectly fine if you want to go throw on an aimop v4 an se recharge totally okay or even just for a red dot set like a night Arm model 2023 i've done that, with, done that with a variety of my longer range guns and it works out great especially when you're playing resurgence but if you're going like big map br probably just keep on that choreo eagle eye but this is my full build right here I want you guys to try this one out. It's nice to be able to try something new here after the update. All right, so now we're taking a look here at the WSP-9, a.k.a. the Uzi, a super hard-hitting SMG, and this is a great build here for it. So the first thing on here is the WSP Optic Long Barrel, giving us an increase in bullet velocity, aiming idle sway, recoil control, and, of course, damage range, making this thing just overall more effective. Like I said, this is going to be a super hard-hitting build for this gun, while you're still going to maintain great mobility. After that, we're going to go down, throwing the XRK Edge BW-4 Handstop, is basically bolstering our overall mobility because that barrel is not really helping us too too much so we definitely got to speed this gun up here like i said it's not gonna be like the fastest L uh, smg but it's just definitely gonna really hit super hard you're gonna have still pretty solid mobility overall um now we're gonna go down and throw on the nine mil high grain rounds which is gonna increase our bullet velocity and damage range making us more effective out to that 20 plus meter mark which is super good for smgs so you're definitely gonna be able to really just torch people and i, I really like that about this gun in this specific setup of course, got to go down and throw on the 50 round mag here. This doesn't have a super high fire rate, so you technically speaking could get away with throwing on the 40 if you really wanted to. But for me personally, I just go for the 50 as I find it to be better than running the 40. It's just my preference, but it's not going to make or break this specific build. So you can definitely do that. Definitely do not go for the 32. That is not acceptable. Always go for at least the 40. If not, go for the 50. And then lastly, on this build, we're throwing on the WSP factory stock. Giving us an increase in ADS speed, movement speed, and sprint to fire speed, or sprint speed, my bad. Um, you lose a little bit of that recoil control, but this gun's not really going to have a whole lot of recoil. Anyways, it'll bounce a little bit because it is indeed the Uzi, the WSP 9. But overall, it's going to be a fantastic SMG to be able to run. This is my full build right here. Definitely, definitely try this one out. And lastly, I want to show you guys an LMG, and that's going to be the TAC Eradicator. And I, I wish I could throw in the new TAC Evolver and the HRM or HMR9, whatever it's called. But I haven't done enough testing with those guns to be able to fully get you guys setups and recommend them for Warzone. So I can't do that yet. I'll have that, of course, in future videos. But for today, we're using the TAC um eradicator and this thing is really solid so vt7 spirit fire suppressor this is the large version because of course this is an lmg by the way this thing caught a slight bit of a nerf but it's not noticeable at all you guys should just be using this especially with all the other guns and the buffs and nerfs definitely should be using this um after that we're gonna go for the conqueror dash 70 long barrel we're gonna set increase in aiming idle sway bullet velocity and range definitely want y'all to try this out um, now we're going to go down, throw on that Bruin Heavy support grip. I mean, this just stabilized the gun out here quite substantially. So we absolutely love that. And it's just really good. Like I said, we run this in a variety of our different guns. You just, it just never like fails us genuinely. Skipping over the magazine, going on back here, the attack of our core stock. This can help us that gun kick control, firing aiming stability, and of course, recoil control, making you just 
easier to be able to hit those shots this thing has a slight bit of recoil because it fires those first two shots faster it's super straight and all of a sudden wants to pick up a little bit but then it's very easy to be able to control this will make that a lot less of a jump it'll just really minimize that so that's why we really like it and then lastly we're gonna go throw on the fss combat grip down here once again stabilizing the gun out so this is one of those guns by the way that i've been running pre-update i've been running post update it has been my go-to primary you know gun is to have on there because i really like that it's also a magazine it's not like it's belt fed so you don't have to take the belt off throw it on there you know cock it back in you don't got to do any of that fun jazz so the reload animation is significantly quicker so even if you don't got fast hands you pick this up off ground loot you know your guns so if you die you really don't have to worry about that but this is my full build that's been my top five you guys enjoy be sure to give it a like subscribe check out this other video on screen i'll see you guys all tomorrow